much has happened since I last vlogged like this but um, obviously I hit 200k and someone won the giveaway which was really exciting and then I also got nominated for a Cosmo Influencer Award which was just insane I didn't actually believe the email when it first came in I was like eh? <laughs> me? No. I even googled it a couple of times before I actually like believed that it was genuine. I'm just really happy at the moment. I'm really content. I'm really happy with what I'm doing and where things are going in my life. So I'm in a really sort of positive space and just I feel like I'm in a little bubble of my own where I'm just doing my own thing and I'm not caring about what anyone else is doing. Today I'm vlogging because it's Friday and I fancied it. I started my day off at my accountant. He's so funny. Um, and we're just trying to sort stuff out so that we can get ready to put our house on the market and hopefully buy a new home with a lot more space and a lot more bedrooms for Lumi. <laughs> so that was really nice and then I just posted like some Depop stuff and then I'm just finishing off some little bits of work and then I'm going to head down to London. I'm meeting Claire. Um, if you don't follow my friend Claire I will pop her YouTube channel down below and also I advise you to check out her dressing room tour because her dressing room, oh my god, literally goals. <laughs> so I'm going to head down with her, we're going to go shopping and um, just spend a little bit of time together, chat, catch up because I haven't seen her for a few weeks and just have a chilled Friday really. Oh. <laughs> So Ali's been away for the past few weekends. He's been working on a really big campaign with Gillette, but I've been all by myself. So this weekend is no different. He's away in Manchester this weekend. He's gonna be running in this big like Gillette campaign thingy competition. So I'm just gonna see friends. I'm gonna see Claire tonight. I'm gonna to see Carrie tomorrow. And then I might go and see my dad and stepmom on Sunday, which would be really nice. But that's kind of how things have been. But basically I just wanted to say, a massive thank you because it's been a really exciting few months and um, so much fun stuff is going on at the moment and the fact that I'm nominated for an award is just blowing my mind so I just want to say a big thank you really in the most non sort of gushy way. Cheers guys! <laughs> so yeah I'm going to finish up some work and then I'm going to get myself ready to head down to London. But before I head off on this Friday of fun please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because I'm doing two videos a week. I hope to see you in my other videos, it'll be really nice. Anyway, let's go, I've got some work to do. This is what my desk ends up looking like on a daily basis. I've literally got like Snapchat on the go. I'm editing some blog photos and also getting stuff ready for a YouTube video. This is actually mental, I have too much stuff going on at once. <laughs> oh, but seeing as we're here, if you want to follow me on Snapchat, this is my snap code. So if you want to come and follow me on Snapchat and see lots of snaps of Lumi and lots of stuff that I'm buying and bits and bobs like that, then you can come follow me there. Speak of the devil and she shall appear. She's on a mad one today. So makeup wise, I've got Guerlain foundation on and I'm wearing a nude lip which is stripped down from MAC and also Tom Ford nude vanille. Perfume wise, I'm using the Maison Martin Margiela replica in Tea Escape. And then I'm layering over the top with Glow. It's their new filter, which is like their sort of more summery scent and you're able to sort of tailor make your scents with them. And I'm just obsessed with these. I have not stopped wearing them since they arrived, they're amazing. And then for my outfit, I've got this snuggly jumper which I picked up from John Lewis and it's from a brand called Modern Rarity. I hadn't seen it before, but the whole like display was really marble and copper and very blogger-esque. <laughs> my trousers are from Zara and they're the sort of leather zip ones that I just literally live in when it's colder. And they've got this kind of like biker, ruching on the knees and then kind of like zips all the way down. On my feet I am wearing my Saint Laurent boots which again are surgically attached to my feet during winter. Jewelry wise I'm wearing a mix of Monica Vinader and Thomas Sabo bangles and then I've got my Chanel watch. For my earrings I'm wearing this kind of like double ball earring which has got a gold one behind. I've also got it in silver. I don't really know what it's called but it's from Thomas Sabo and then I've teamed it with a Lynx of London single freshwater pearl and um, I just love odd earrings. I don't know why. I'm just obsessed with them. 
Bag wise, I'm taking my super cute Balenciaga mini city bag and it's got gold hardware and it's like black. This is so small and cute, but it actually holds a lot. I have done a what's in my bag video with this bag. It was ages ago, like ages and ages ago, but I will link it down below anyway if it's not too embarrassing. Inside, I've got the usual stuff like my bank cards, a pen, which is from Kate Spade, my battery pack, headphones and cables and chewing gum. Lots of stuff in there. <laughs> I love this at the moment. It's not too warm, but it's warm enough and it's really smart. So I'm going to be wearing this today down in London, which um, I like a lot. <laughs> Show you a close up of the details. This is the chain mail detail on the tops. It is great if you love wearing dual hardware like I do. <laughs> so this is the outfit altogether. Um, it's a very black outfit as I love in autumn um, but I also feel very smart in it and warm so I'm good to be walking around London with Claire looking in all of the shops and hopefully not buying anything. Hopefully buying something though actually. I've seen a handbag that I like so maybe we'll go and have a look in there. I know that Claire's looking for one as well so we're a bad influence on each other. <laughs> underground at Sloane Square and I get a text from Claire oh no wait I mean Knightsbridge as if you just jump up at the next stop it's such a nightmare I was on I was at Euston and I met a guy called Alex who watches my videos and I completely forgot to vlog it I'm such an idiot but he was so nice so Alex if you watch this video hi <laughs> and I wish I'd vlogged it but now I'm heading down Sloane uh, Avenue to go and meet Claire um, I'm not sure what shop she's in but I'm sure she's doing some damage let's not get run over by that person speeding up and um, yeah, <laughs> they don't care if they run you over in London. So I found this one in Dior. <laughs> I'm gonna look at bags next. I've been looking at this, looking at this little one um, for a while, but I'm not sure on it yet. Now that I've seen the bag that Claire's getting, I'm like, we should get matching. <laughs> we should get matching. <laughs> um, we've now come to Harrods, which is behind me. There, there's someone playing music down there. And then um, we're gonna go and get some drinks and probably do some shopping in there, hopefully, if there's anything that they have of mine that I like. <laughs> champagne and strawberries and now we're gonna go and do some shopping. So we're into heaven and we've just met Chloe. No, don't. <laughs> Chloe's going to work at Jimmy Choo on Bond Street so you better go and say yeah, hi. Come Your mouth. Where did you get that? I'm trying to find you. I thought you won. Did you take that out of my box of sweets that Urban Decay sent me? You did, didn't you? <laughs> so I've just got home. I've got tired eyes. Actually, they're probably a little bit of champagne eyes as well. Um, I'm going to get out of my clothes because I am so uncomfortable. My feet have swollen up so much. Oh my god, sound like a grandma. Um, and I'm just gonna put on my comfy clothes, have something to eat, and chill out in front of the TV, I think. So I'm sat here, and I'm having my bowl of fruit. When I was a kid, my dad used to come over and be like, can I have a bit? Just a little bit. And I used to be like, okay, dad, yeah, you can have a bit. And he'd go like, and have like the biggest bit ever. That's exactly what Ali just did. He was like, can I just have a little bit of your, of your, your fruit? Babe, show them how big your, your, your spoon was. Come. On. 
Another one. Look at the size of that. Oh, that was a little one, apparently. All I wanted was my fruit, and he comes in. Oh my god, he's just eating it. Oh my god. <laughs> Boyfriends suck. Good morning everyone. Don't mind my no makeup face and my weird hair. I've got um, Olaplex on my hair. I think it's one and one and two on my hair and um, my hair needed it. So I thought I'd wax some on this morning and then go to the gym and um, yesterday wasn't supposed to turn into a shopping trip, but because I was spending the day with Claire and like it was sort of like a mini celebration because like loads of really cool stuff has happened to her and a few cool things have happened to me so we just ended up having like drinks but yeah so today is just going to be like me by myself I guess because Ali has now gone to Manchester because he's doing um, a campaign with Gillette so yeah that's it's me lonely again on a weekend I might see my best friend tonight I think we might go to the cinema or just go and have some cocktails although I don't really want to have any cocktails because I think this is because I've been drinking alcohol. Anyway, I'm going to have my hot lemon water now and um, then I'm going to get dressed and go to the gym. Playing on my upgrade Reminiscing about last week Remember that we had a big fight Maybe words didn't come out way I wish that I was so brave it's so dark today it's just so overcast that my whole house is so dark so i've got a light on um but this is what i'm wearing to the gym i've got my matthew williamson and usa pro top a sweaty betty gray vest jagged leggings and if you can see i've got my night kicks on because i still haven't found any new trainers um i've got my hair in a bun because it's still got olaplex on it and my louis bag I wish that I could call her. To come over I wish that I could hold Turn back Turn back the ends of time Turn it back and make you change your mind Turn back Turn back the ends of time Turn back Turn back the ends of time Turn back Turn back the ends of time best friend Carrie to get here before we go to the cinema tonight. Um, I haven't actually vlogged this evening because I had a rather grumpy Ali come back from his trip. I didn't even know he's coming back today. Um, but he left his uh, wallet. Uh, let me sit down. He left his wallet on his train. Okay, had all of his cards in, so we've been frantically trying and to money. cancel it. Yeah, and money. And gift cards. And gift cards. And receipts. And, oh, and receipts. And loyalty cards. You might as well have just left your life on the train. Mm. Anyway, so we've spent the evening trying to sort that out, um, but we're now having a bit of a giggle because Ali's just finished editing his vlog to go up on his channel. <laughs> and he flies to Edinburgh. And uh, in the vlog, he goes, was it you say? We're flying back to the UK. Yeah. <laughs> and then he gets off the plane, and he's like, so we're back in the UK and the weather's we're still shit. <laughs> Look, look, look. We've just arrived back in the UK. <laughs> and the weather's looking pretty miserable here as well. <laughs> so. That's the way that kills me. <laughs> it's almost as if he's gone to love, like, some like exotic island somewhere. <laughs> 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 to Edinburgh. <laughs> oh, that's the best thing ever. So this is what I'm wearing tonight to go to the cinema. I've got my big, fluffy, warm Karen Millen coat, my Me and M striped jersey top, Zara biker trousers, and Saint Laurent boots. Oh, and my Bulgari uh, Serpenti Forever bag. 
I've just got home from the cinema and we watched The Girl on the Train, which is a little bit, it's not annoying, but I've got the book next to my bed that I've been wanting to read and I haven't read yet. So I now know what happens. It was really good though, I enjoyed it. Basically my best friend and I are trying to make like going to the cinema together a more regular thing. And last time we watched Bridget Jones's Baby and I was vlogging then as well. It's much better when you watch really uplifting films. Like afterwards we went out and had Prosecco. This time we were a bit like, oh. <laughs> I think we've made a pact now to only watch uplifting like chick flicks or like funny films so that we feel good when we leave the cinema. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to see my family, um, which is just gonna be like Sunday roast. So um, I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here. I always say that at the end of my vlogs. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it here, but um, I'm obviously vlogging more often now, more often than I was anyway, um, in the run-up to Vlogmas. So I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog, and if you did, let me know in the comments below. Um, try to be nice, I always like it when there's nice comments down there. <laughs> and I will um, see you in my next one, hopefully. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. <laughs> Twitter.